So here we are down at the distillery district for the Toronto Christmas market. As you can tell from the Christmas tree. There's some elves. Well, there are some elves. Hello, elves. <laughs> it is going to be going on from today, which is November. The 19th, and it's 37 days till Christmas. 37 days till Christmas, and this is going to be going all the way until December 22nd. That's right. Now, they've actually extended it from previous years. This is the seventh year that they have done the Toronto Christmas markets, and they've sort of expanded it. This will be the second year, I believe, that they're going to be charging admission, but only on the weekends. And uh, usually that's from 5 p.m. on Fridays. It's only six bucks to get in. And it goes towards some pretty cool things. As yeah. Well. Um, Plan Canada, the Daily Bread Food Bank, and and Toronto Star Santa Claus Fund, which is used to help provide gifts for the underprivileged youth. Present. Present. So even though it's only six dollars out of your pocket, it's going towards a lot of good things. That's true. There's a lot of stuff here for the kids, as you can see. Look, we got. Merry-go-rounds, we've got a Ferris wheel. It's called a carousel. Carousel. We also have Santa's Village, so if you want to check out times and dates for a chance to get a photo of Santa and the kitties, make sure you go to torontochristmasmarket.com. They've got all the events that are going to be taking place with times. Something else that's really cool this year that they have is on Tuesdays. And on Tuesdays from 2 p.m. to 7.30 a.m., you can bring your pet down to meet Santa Claus and have your photo of your pet taken with uh, good old Saint Nick. So feel free to bring down your hamster, your ferrets, your boa constrictor, any kind of pet, pet your that you like. Your rabbits. Santa understand dogs and cats? Is this for hamsters or rabbits? Is it is a possibility. A special Santa Claus? Another thing that we have is uh, Christmas caroling. <laughs> Now Christmas caroling is put on by Mill Street and Mill Street is going to be handing out uh, sheet music and doing caroling a bunch of times during the Christmas market. They have so many different types of foods. 35 different vendors. That's correct. Foods and crafts. Every restaurant and store in here has something out in the market. There really is a little something for everybody. And you hashtag it, TCM16. Hashtag TCM16 for you Instagrammers out there. Or Twitterers, tweeters. But not Facebook. No, don't, don't hashtag. You're not supposed to hashtag on Facebook, people. <laughs> hmm, what else? Life-size gingerbread house. Oh yeah, life-size gingerbread house. I bet you by the end of the Christmas market, there's going to be a lot of bites taken out of that Christmas. And they won't uh, be Out of the me. gingerbread house. They won't be for me. And no. there's the kisses, the Hershey's kisses that we're going to be showing you soon. Oh yeah, the Hershey's kisses booth. This is when you can get a kissy kiss inside a Hershey's Kiss and they're actually called the Hershey's Kiss Decadent and they're delicious yeah. and they're giving out free Hershey's Kisses as well. They gave us about 20. And I ate most of them but I think I saved one just for this moment. Delicious. Look at how big they are. Yum yum Cute. yum. So here's where they're giving out the delicious kisses. And there's something since we are walking there is also walking tour. Oh yeah, the walking tours, uh, prices and times will be on the website, but there's also tastings involved. Yes. And for the tastings, it uh, includes the Soma Chocolate Factory, yes. which is supposed to be very delicious. And Mill Street Brewery. Which is always good. And hot chocolate. One other thing that they're going to be doing on Tuesday, November 29th is uh, something with a European flair, and that is the arrival of St. Nicholas. Apparently, he's going to be arriving on a big white horse, and in his possession will be the book that has the names of all of the naughty and nice children. So don't be naughty. Don't be naughty. Not good to be naughty. Naughty. This is the first day it's open, and it is packed. Packed. Totally packed. And when we first came in, some of you who've been to the distillery district before will know there's a big cart, a big cart that's a good picture-taking opportunity. And this time for the Christmas market, it's going to be under the mistletoe sculpture. That's so what it's called. So make sure you get your kisses on. There's lots of kissing to be had in the Christmas market. There's also a large, well not very large, but uh, pink forest maze. Not yeah. really much of a maze, no, but uh, maze. No. there's a bunch of pink Christmas trees that you can walk around in. There's a ton of different photo ops, including the massive Christmas tree with uh, lots of lights. I'm sure it'll be all lit up tonight. How many lights do you 
lights? 18,000 lights on this Christmas tree. So the distillery district sort of came to be back in 1832, and that's when the Goodrum and Warts Distillery was founded. Now by 1860, it was the largest distillery in the world. In the world? That's right. And at one point, there was over 2 million gallons of whiskey produced here annually. A lot of whiskey. That's a lot of booze. <laughs> Uh, in the 1980s and 90s, it became derelict. Not a lot of people came down here. And uh, matter of fact, though, in 1990, um, the last distillery was shut down. From 1990, however, there's been over 800 television and film productions here. Such as uh, X-Men, Chicago, which won an Oscar, um, The Fly in 1986, so many. Uh, the Blues Brothers, 2000, and the list seriously goes on and on and on. Um, in 2001, it was purchased by a big company called Cityscape. They make condominiums, go figure, in Toronto. <laughs> and they just started to repurpose it as a pedestrian area and uh, really start to make it into what it is today. Beautiful. Now, this is also a National Historic Site, and National Geographic has named this one of the top 10 on top picks, I should say, for tourists to come and visit in Toronto. And that's the distillery district. So there's a lot of lists that have included the Toronto Christmas market in the top 10 of all Christmas markets in the world. In the world. In the entire world. So make sure you come down and check out the Toronto Christmas market. Bring the kids, bring the family. I'm sure you'll have a wonderful time and create some great memories. It's just a really good vibe down here, isn't it? It's amazing.